So welcome back to the homestead friends. So uh, I wanna apologize, I haven't been able to upload a video for a couple days. Believe it or not, we had two structure fires in a row. And structure fires, when you get them, when someone's house is on fire, it's, it's kinda like hunting, you know, the, the initial attack is, is actually over pretty quickly, and then that's when the real work sets in uh, of uh, getting in the ceiling and pulling out all the insulation and making sure that you don't uh, leave something that's going to rekindle and then back at the at the hall and washing bunker gear and hoses and all that. So it ends up, anytime you get a fire like that, it ends up taking the whole day. And then by the time I got back, it just wasn't time to do a video. Uh, but there has been something that's been on my mind a lot. Um, uh, I want to weigh into a controversy, uh, a great YouTube controversy and I guess the question is, what's coming out is, uh, is what is a homesteader? Or what is homesteading? It seems to be uh, that there are a lot of folks out there that have, have an idea or ideas of what constitutes a homesteader and what does not. And there is a, a tremendous controversy going on right now uh, with a particular channel uh, by the name of Pure Living for Life. Um, they're not friends of mine. I have spoken to them on the phone. Um, I have watched, I, I do watch their videos. I'm subscribed to them. But there was a comment made on one of their videos by uh, Alyssa uh, that something to the effect of um, that there are a lot of people that are playing Homestead out on the, in the YouTube community. And I, I didn't see the video. I don't, I, I didn't see really, ha I don't really know the context apart from what, what I've heard uh, from other videos, but it put a lot of people off. Uh, so much so that there is a whole bunch of videos being made uh, by people that consider themselves to be homesteaders or modern homesteaders that, that got their nose out of joint. Now, what Alyssa said, um, it was a foolish comment. There's no question about it. But the repercussions of that comment have been so severe uh, and what I would consider to be way out of proportion. We're logging next door. There'll be some logging trucks going by. Uh, so much so uh, that we have, uh, I, I don't know, myriads of videos being produced of people that have taken issue with that comment of showing, oh, well, I, I'm, I'm going out to feed my, uh, or I'm playing feeding my chickens, or I'm playing homestead feeding my pigs, or I'm playing homestead doing this, this or that. And it's even been taken a step further than that, where there are some, some really despicable uh, folks that are actually doing uh, these parody videos that I think are, are really unfair, uh, mean, spirited, and hurtful, and of course, done anonymously. Because a coward uh, is a person that would do something like that. Someone who is not a coward would actually show their face and, and take issue, and that, that's fine. So going back to Alyssa's comments, um, yes, it was a foolish thing to say. It, it was offhand. It was, it was, it, 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 I could see where people would be put upset by it. But how many of you have ever, through your long life, have ever said something that you wished you could have taken back? I think we could all say that. I mean, it happens to me weekly, just with my own family. It's 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 a constant thing. So um, when you when you uh, when it, when someone does something like that, and, and granted, they're public figures. I'm a public figure. A lot of you guys that make videos out there are public figures. Um, when you when someone does something like that, and it goes, to, it, people take it to the extent where they try to destroy their channel to destroy their means of income, to destroy their character for one comment is what I don't understand. So what are they guilty of? Well, they are a couple who had a dream uh, to move to a, a remote location in uh, the Pacific Northwest. They had a dream um, to build um, a, a, a timber frame home, uh, to do it from, um, uh, from the ground up uh, to do what they can. They, they got a sawmill, um, they got, uh, they developed their piece of land. I watched the two of them um, set up their own uh, foundation. And, and this is more, the, the more, more impressive to me uh, because there wasn't a lot of background with these two uh, to do it. Not a lot of, um, I mean, Jesse and Alyssa, obviously when you're watching them, they, they, they didn't they don't, they haven't done this before. And so to have the courage to never, to not to have a really strong background in, in mechanics or, or forestry or, or working with equipment, to buy a sawmill and to mill all your own timbers, to take on, uh, buy a, a second use backhoe, learn how to operate it, do your foundation, do your water system, do your sewer system, do your driveway, do all those things, pour your own concrete, tie your own rebar, on and on and on, to me, is pretty admirable. 
Uh, so folks that c are coming out and saying, well, they're not really, they're not real homesteaders because they don't have thus and so, they don't have animals, or they're not real homesteaders because they asked for help and had some folks come and help them do their timber framing. Well, I, I think that that's nonsense. So to get back, to come back full circle to the original question, what is homesteading? What is modern homesteading? It, it's becoming independent, more independent, not completely independent, but as independent as you can. It's about getting your, taking your time back and doing what you want to do. So we, we fall under the same uh, criticism. Well, you don't have uh, cattle and sheep and animals, and so you're not homesteaders. You're playing homesteaders, you're fake homesteaders. Well, that, that's, that may be true, but what your criteria is, what your standard is, I, I couldn't care less. It's nothing to me. Homesteading to me, and why we coined the term modern homesteading, is about taking your life back as much as possible where you can. It may be a modern homesteader is a guy that's living in the city on, on a 100 by 100 lot that decides to, to put in a, a pellet stove or a wood stove uh, so that he can cut his own firewood and, 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 get it, and, and, and make himself independent from the, the oil company or the electrical grid to save a, save a little few bucks. Modern homesteading, and a modern homesteader is, is a woman who has got a, a, an 8 by 16 garden bed and is dabbling in canning and drying fruit and putting up uh, some preserves and different things in the, in the pantry to become a little bit more uh, independent. Modern homesteading is a guy living in a condo uh, that puts together a, a, a bug out bag um, and some, some water storage or the ability to, to filter water or, or starts putting away little things to, to become uh, more independent so that he's, he's not reliant upon other people. It's about taking your life back and personal responsibility uh, for your life and, and for your, your well-being, the well-being of your family. So. Am I bothered by accusations of, that I'm not a, a real homesteader? <laughs> not, not in the least. Here's the truth of the matter is, is, is I get to live in a beautiful place that I want, want to live. And I'm not uh, dictated, it, it's not dictated to me, I have to live in a particular city because that's where my income comes from or because I have to work at this job and so it forces me to live in an area that I prefer not to be. That's, that's independence. Modern homesteading to me is to be able to, to cut firewood uh, with my son on my own land and, and to heat my home 100% independent of any electrical co electric company or, or oil company. Modern homesteading to me is to be able to, to plow my own snow and to, and to fix my own fences and to do my own home repairs. Modern homesteading to me is, is to be able to um, have meals with my family. Uh, to, to, have, uh, to be blessed to be able to, to create this content and to make videos and to, and to teach and, and to educate and to inspire people uh, that there's a different way of living, that you can make choices in your life and you don't have to be stuck in the situation that you're in. So modern homesteading, what uh, somebody's definition on an on a internet forum or on a YouTube channel uh, or some criteria that they set up there is, is meaningless to me. What means everything to me is that I can have three meals uh, a day with my family, that I get to live uh, where I want to live. I get to do what I want to do. I get to be independent. And if a storm comes and I can't work uh, or get to work or, or anything for, for a, or a month or two, uh, that uh, it doesn't stress our family financially, it doesn't stress our family. We're not going to run out of food. We're not going to run out of wood. So are we uh, the best homesteaders? No, uh, absolutely not. But we do what we can. Each year we, we put up a little bit more uh, food in the pantry. Each year we grow uh, a larger percentage uh, of our own fruits and vegetables. Each year we, we acquire the things and tools and equipment that uh, are, um, uh, help us to do what we want to do. That's what modern homesteading is. It doesn't have to be done on this level. We're not, it's not a competition. It's not a race. Doug and Stacy, for example, another popular YouTube channel, uh, I've met both of those, those two at Mother Earth News, took a tremendous amount of heat by the same crowd, accusing them of not being real homesteaders because they took a trip uh, to the Bahamas, a, a vacation, uh, and uh, people hated that. People couldn't stand it. Well, wait a minute. You're supposed to be uh, uh, carrying waters of bucket, buckets of water. You're supposed to be milking cows. You're supposed to be doing this. We have built this box for you, and you got out of this box, and we're, we're angry. We're angry about it. What it all comes down to, I think, from this crowd, is it comes down to jealousy. Um, and, and you'll see it. Someone will get 
Pure Life for Living or, or us or many different channels will we'll get something nice. You know, someone, let's say Yanmar Tractor, uh, they step up and say, hey, we'd like, we'd like to, to be involved with what you're doing and, and we'd like to, to give you this or we'd like to provide you some concrete. And then, and then the, the, we can share that as, as content and people hate that. Some people hate that as if it's, um, it's coming out of their pocket. Because uh, I have, uh, I, uh, we got to use a Yanmar tractor, uh, it, it means that they get less. What it comes down to is, is it's just, it's jealousy. And the question that I would ask them is, is those that are the most outspoken on YouTube, if Yanmar were to come to you and say, hey, would you guys like to have um, a new riding lawnmower to use for a year or two to try out? Or hey, would you guys like to have uh, um, a, a brush hog that you could put on the back of your old Ford tractor? What would they say? No, 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 I'm not going to do that because then I'd be a sellout and I, I can't be a sellout. Well, of course, they, they all know it. You all know that they would, they, they would take it. There wouldn't be anything wrong with it. There wouldn't be anything wrong with it. It's one thing shilling for something, uh, an inferior product that is garbage that you don't believe in, you don't stand behind um, telling everyone that it's good. But if you're dealing with good companies, you know, there's no shame in that. Sorry, I the camera turned off. But to wrap up here, what it comes back to is it comes back to jealousy. Uh, what, when you see someone, it's the crab, when the crabs are in the bucket and one of the crabs strives and strives and, and gets a toehold on the edge of that bucket and he's pulling himself out, crabs, lobsters, whatever, he's pulling himself out. What happens the remaining crabs or lobsters in the bucket? They don't want that. They drag him back down, drag him back in down so that he can suffer the same fate that they're going to suffer. And when you see folks that are attacking the most, the most verbal, uh, the folks that, that make the most noise, and, and, and also note this, that they're almost always anonymous. What, what it is, is when they see someone climbing out of the hole, when they see someone taking their life back, starting to get some independence, starting to, starting to have some good things coming to them, it shines a spotlight on their own personal failure and it's uncomfortable. We don't want you to achieve because that, that reminds me that I'm not where I'm at, where I, where I want to be. That reminds me that I don't really work all that hard and I spent more time watching TV instead of taking that second job uh, to get uh, out of the curtain, this particular situation that I have. And that's what it comes down to. So I don't care who writes what on forums. I don't care who uh, uploads videos that are negative towards me or my family. I, I don't live my life according to your expectations. It means nothing to me. I answer to God and I answer to my own family. And we're happy. And we don't have the best of everything. And, and we're not the, the most extreme hardcore homesteaders. But we are, we, we, are, we are happy. And we are living a life as independent and, and from outside interference as, as we can. And we're always trying to improve that. So if I'm guilty of not being a, uh, or pretending to be a homesteader or not, not being a homesteader, um, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine with me because I wouldn't trade places with anyone. All right. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next video.